Now I know a lot of you all are saying, dude, what in the world are you doing to your test plot? I mean, the way that your test plot look, you can take that test plot and put it in my yard and I will be happy with the way that it looks. Why are you mowing it like that? Well, here's why. I had some Bermuda grass percolating up in this test plot and I've never sprayed it. The Bermuda grass was actually spreading. Okay, let me show you. Well, you really can't see too much of it now because I've been, <laughs> I didn't mow it and I just got clumps of grass everywhere, right? But all of this brown that you see, all of this, this is Bermuda grass. All of this is Bermuda grass. You see it? It killed the Bermuda grass, not the fescue, okay? So all these little brown spots that you see, it's Bermuda grass. Like I said, you really can't see too much because I didn't mold it all the way down. But I mean, it was really starting to spread everywhere. And when I noticed it, it just was bothering me, okay? I know I could have used my big mower. I just wanted to walk. I just wanted to get a little exercise every now and then. But I sprayed it, I mowed it down. We're probably around maybe like two and three quarters. That's what I mowed it down to. I'ma clean everything up. I've never dethatched it. I've never seeded back here. Only thing I've done is fertilize it. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna aerate back here. I may throw a little seed, not too much. And I am gonna aerate it. We're gonna water this thing and we're gonna fert the heck out of this thing back here. <music> Somebody come look at this. Somebody come look at this. Look at this. Look at this. So, look like we got a good bee thatching. I'm only going over it once. But look what I pulled out of it though. Now once I rake this thing up, it's gonna be probably a mound. But, all of that dead grass is out of it. Got a lot of that little dead grass in here. So this is what came out of all of this test plot. I just went ahead and just put it all in the pile. Yeah. But she's looking good. Let's see, I can drop some seed right here. She's looking good though. So we got some rain the other day and that prohibited me from doing my aeration and my light seeding back here in my test plot. But then again, it was a good thing because that rain softened up the grounds a little bit more so that I can be able to get some deeper core. So now, I'm about to have some fun.
Okay. Mm. This is a piece of metal or something. That's good coverage in that piece of metal right there. Poke holes through the metal. It was in the ground, wherever that was. But we're definitely getting good plugs. Really good plugs. Really good plugs. Of course, some of these holes, I didn't roll it over, so. But that's what we want right there. Really good plugs. Get out of here. So this is the kind of coverage that you want right here. You see all of this seed? Just a little bit. But you want that kind of coverage. Not too much seed. Not too little. That'll work. Who I tell you what. Even though I'm on some mobile equipment, it's hot. You got me hot back here, HP. Shout out to HP Lawn Care. High performance. All right, folks, I am done. As you can see, I'm losing daylight time, which is another sign. Don't play with overseeding or doing renovations because you are gonna need some sun to be able to get some photosynthesis. We're starting to lose time every single day. But what I've done is, um, Cut everything down, got everything cut down to two and a half inches. I was at two and three quarters. I cut everything down to two and a half inches. I went ahead and aerated the big Jesus out of it, seeded it, fertilized it, and the only thing that we have left to do is just doing some water. So that is pretty much about it. I thank you all for tuning in. This is going to be a reveal. I'm going to show you what it looks like once everything gets to growing. Y'all stay tuned. Y'all have a blessed one, and I'll see y'all in the next one.